Hi everyone, um, we are glad to be with you again. This is a um, uh, second uh, session related to the self-management um, physiotherapy perspective live session that we started uh, two weeks ago. I'm, uh, I'm pleased to have my uh, dear colleague, Dr. Hebatala Ibrahim. Uh, she's it's a senior my pleasure, therapist. Hi, nice to see you. Uh, senior physiotherapist uh, with a massive background. And um, uh, she will introduce herself during our live session. So we'll have more time to interact with you, uh, inshallah. So in, in this video, uh, I, will be, I will be the patient, Dr. Hebe will be the therapist, and uh, we'll try to simulate uh, um, an online consultation for a patient with cervical spine problem. Right, so we'll make a start. Hello, good afternoon, Mahmoud, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thanks for uh, seeing me. Uh, it's a difficult time and uh, no one can attend physiotherapy sessions. So thank you for offering uh, this online consultation. No worries, it's my pleasure always to help you and help any patient in need. So you have complained of a problem through, due to your neck. Can you please give me further more data? What is the problem? Yes, uh, the problem started about four months ago. So um, uh, about six months ago, I had um, a minor trauma, so something that's fallen on my, uh, the back of the neck. Uh, I went to the a and &E at that time. They gave me some painkillers, and they gave me uh, a neck collar, uh, which I had. Uh, how, how did that help you? Uh, it, it, it didn't help that much. Um, I think what had helped that I was not moving the neck. But after uh, I started, uh, after I stopped using the neck collar, um, uh, my neck movement was uh, very limited. And uh, over time, it's getting more uh, achy and painful, and it's affecting my life, to be honest. Uh, how long did you use that neck collar? I used it for uh, four weeks. Uh, four weeks. And then uh, I tried to... Um, not to use it, but because I, I, it was like a habit, so I used it for another four weeks. So uh, the last time I used a neck collar was about four months ago. Okay, and can you tell me what's your current job now, please? Uh, my job is a, is a lecturer, so I sit down uh, doing a lot of lectures on, on my desk, which is exactly the same desk that you can see right now. Uh, has that neck pain affected you since then doing your job? Uh, it, 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 it actually it did affect my ability to do my job with, without pain. I still can do everything, but again, I do it with pain, but I have to do my job. That's why I can't stop it. Okay. Can I ask you how old are you, please? Uh, I'm 42. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, you told me that you had an injury with a blunt, and uh, did you do any x-rays? Were you checked by any of the physicians? besides giving you the medication and the collar? No, no. This is the first time to ask for help, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Can you directly show me where exactly is the site of pain? Are you capable to just point out to it? Yes. So it's basically on the middle of the back of the neck, and it goes down to the sides of the neck. And sometimes I feel it going down to my elbows and my hands. Okay, and if I asked you to rate the pain you're having out of 10, saying that zero is no pain, 10 out of 10 is the worst, how much would you rate it now? Uh, the minimum it is four, but uh, sometimes mm -hmm. it can go up to eight. Mm -hmm. uh, going up to eight is related to a certain position or time in the day? Yeah, if I sit down for long, I feel it, but sometimes I also feel it at night. So it wakes me up at night. Wakes you up at night? Yes. When it wakes you up at night, is it related to having a certain position that you were sleeping on? No, no, I could be in any. Okay. Do you wake up at night with any other signs and symptoms plus that pain? Uh, over the last three weeks, um, I, I wake up with uh, the pain, but also I wake up with a bit of sweating. Uh, but I'm not feeling well for the last three weeks, uh, and uh, I've been trying to contact my doctor, but uh, due to the current situation, I can't go and see him, so he just prescribed some antibiotics for me, because he thought it could be uh, some sort of um, uh, chest infection, because I used to suffer from chest infection, 
which is quite worrying mm -hmm. at this time now. Yeah, I know. Um, hope you're going to get well soon, inshallah. Do you consider uh, that type of pain as sharp? Can you just tell me, is it sharp pain, dull aching pain, tooth-like pain? It's, it's mainly like a, uh, uh, to be honest, it's difficult to describe uh, as, you know, patients mm -hmm. find it difficult to describe all the time. So uh, it's all the time it's like ache, like pain, but sometimes uh, after sitting down for a long time uh, on a desk, I feel it like a slightly sharp shooting on my elbows on my hands. Okay. Okay. When you say sitting down for some time, that equals how many hours? Uh, may, maybe it could be 45 minutes, not more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, is it related to any other uh, problems or any other medical condition that you are suffering besides the chest pain that you had or an old infection? No. No. Okay. So you don't have any hypertension, diabetes, any other medical problems, asthmatic, any old history of any cardiac issues? As far as I know, no, I'm, I'm all right. Apart from uh, okay, did you have fever, apart from just hay fever, which is uh, this is a season for it, but again, it's not related to my neck pain. No. Okay, did you have any lab investigations uh, done for you in the past uh, four weeks? Uh, no. No. Okay. Did you have any attacks of drop attacks? Uh, no. Dizziness? I feel dizzy, yes. Sometimes I feel dizzy. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, did you have any problems with your eyesight? I see you wear glasses. Did you have any nystagmus, any problems uh, in vision whatsoever? No. no. Nothing. Okay. Uh, so far, what I'm seeing is that there are some things that could make me a little bit concerned to start doing any further more examination. So I'm going to ask you just please to uh, follow up what I'm going to ask you to do because I want to assure that there is no risk giving you any type of exercise and continuing our session. Uh, when you said you had referred pain to your hands, did you have any pins and needles? Did you feel any pins or um, anything that seems like electrical type of pain that was radiating down your hands? Yeah, occasionally I feel some, uh, some sort of... Um... Yeah, like pins and needles on my fingers, both both sides. Okay. Uh, but uh, bilateral. Yes, both sides, but it doesn't last for long; just a few seconds. Okay, okay. The next thing I want you to ask you about: Did you use any hot packs or cold packs? Do you have any problem with sensation when something is really cold, like getting something from your uh, fridge or? Um, having a hot shower, do you feel that your skin gets to be red or you don't sense it easily? That's, that's quite an interesting question because I, I noticed over the last three weeks uh, having hot shower is not something that I really like. So I tried to go mm -hmm. for cold, cold shower. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm not sure, I can't find any reason for that. I'm not sure why this is happening over the last three weeks. Okay, if I ask you please to use one of your hands, like your right hand compared to the left hand, I'm gonna ask you to try to push your hands together without movement. Tell me, do you feel any uh, heaviness or do you have any pain in either movements? Uh, no. no. Okay, if I asked you to push your elbows towards your chest and try to resist that, do you have any type of pain or heaviness? To be honest, generally speaking, I feel over the last four or five weeks, my arm strength uh, is not as it used to be. So uh, okay. every now and again, I just do some uh, weightlifting. So uh, okay. last weeks is, is not the same as it was. So I'm not sure if this related to my neck or not. Okay, this could be related to it. Uh, my really advice is that we're not going to do anything further unless we have a consultation of one of your physicians. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a request. I'm going to send it to email, to your email. And I need you to take that uh, request or referral to any uh, of your physicians whenever it's possible. My advice is that please uh, stop doing the weightlifting nowadays. If you're keen to do exercise, just be sure that your neck is safe in any position. 
uh, till we have further investigations to assure that that old injury did not affect your neck and uh, your nerves in a way before we can proceed and give you any type of exercise. So do you advise, uh, do you recommend that I stop moving my neck at all? Because if, if I move my neck, it can, it might cause more damage. I wouldn't say not moving your neck, but I'd be more cautious with any movements. So don't try to take end ranges, sudden movements uh, as much as you can. Uh, try your best to be in uh, not using the collar, but changing position that you are sitting in. So if we say that your pain starts after 45 minutes with that radiating pain, this means like at 30 minutes, try to change your position, get out of your uh, chair, do a little bit of very gentle um, extensions with your thoracic spine, maintaining that your head is not doing any uh, movement during that. All right. So, uh, do, are you uh, are you thinking of anything uh, anything serious that uh, that I should be concerned of? Um, not serious to be concerned of, but we would say that to be cautious is better and safer than to take any further steps because maybe any of the examination of movements that I'm going to ask you to do could be aggravating any of the signs due to that old injury. So I prefer to either see you face-to-face um, -face or through a physician to be sure and rule out if there is any neurological issue that could be affected with any of our treatments. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have so, a great day. Thank bye you. Bye. Thank you, Heba. So um, uh, this is the end of uh, scenario one. So uh, I would like you guys just to take the benefit of, of this session, just to think about what kind of red flags are there. Uh, write it down. Uh, think about uh, any signs of mechanical uh, neck pain um, that I have mentioned or that you came up with from uh, my consultation with Heba. And um, uh, we now get ready for the next scenario. Thank you.